What's up Halloweeny? So today we're gonna be starting off our spooky adventures here at Tom Devlin's Monster Museum. You know we come here every year to start off the spooky season. What are you sitting in, Leslie? I don't know, but it's hot. It looks like a little car. Oh, you got a spooky ride. So let's go and check out these monsters. Good evening, Mr. Frankenstein. We're ready to go see some more monsters. Before we even get in, they got the scariest monsters ever, Mike and Sully. I remember a movie about them, but I can't really put my finger on it. Whoa, it's a spider gremlin right there. You know, gremlins are scary as it is, and spiders are even terrifying. Whoa, they actually have the actual good guys doll that Chucky was based off of. Nose for rat too. What the heck is that? Huh? Oh, this is the Hunchback of Notre Dame. But this is not the Disney version. Because Disney's version did not look this creepy. Look at those eyeballs. A white out of his socket. Hey, Leslie, you remember this? Yeah, I don't like that. Why? Are you spooked? Yeah, I don't like that. Out of all the monsters we see in here, you're scared of the girl that turns her head backwards? <laughs> We're reading this thing right here. It does say that The Exorcist is the most terrifying film of all time. I mean, I'll give you that one. It is considered the most terrifying one ever. But I would have to say it's not the scariest one I've watched, personally. Have you even watched it? I feel like I have watched it. So let's talk a little bit about Tom Devlin. Who is Tom Devlin? Well, apparently, he makes these type of sculptures off of B-movies, like as you've seen most of the movie characters that we see throughout this maze, B-movies, which are movies that not many people hear about, they're not very popular, and very low budget movies. But Tom Devlin even worked on movies that are pretty high in value, like The Scorpion King with uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Red Dragon, and Terminator 3. His big fascination was B-movies, as you can tell. And that's why he created a whole museum on these B-movie monsters. So that's pretty cool. He's actually worked on movies, but then he also wants to pay homage to the movies that not many people hear. You know, we come here pretty often and we see all these B-movies. I've never heard of these movies. Why don't we ever try to watch them? Because we never find them everywhere, anywhere. Yeah, you're probably right. Because yep. this one, I mean, with this kind of character right here, you would think it'd be pretty interesting. A chicken ghost? So, Mr. Chicken Poultry Guys, what do you feel about the new Popeye's chicken sandwich? Is it is it good? Is it better than Chick-fil-A? He's speechless. <laughs> this, this Chucky doll looks a lot more creepier than that Chucky doll, for sure. But I've been on a lookout for this movie. Child's Play. Can't find it anywhere. I did find Bride of Chucky. So I have that one, but I need to find Child's Play. Apparently this guy is a, an Avenger. The Toxic Avenger. And it says that it was inspired by the 1991 comic book series by Marvel Comics. So this is a Disney character right here. Technically this is a Disney princess. Probably not the prettiest one on that Disney owns, but... Does he? Oh, it is a princess. <laughs> They're like a little Cinderella kind of thing. He cleans and is garbage. Mister, are you the new Cinderella? Are you in the new Cinderella live action movie? The Cholo Gingerbread Man? <laughs> and his Ginger Dead Man. And that's the Evil Bong. I really want to know what this Evil Bong movie is about. 
people smoke out of the bomb and become evil. I doubt that's what it is. But how is it a horror movie? What does a bong do to make it a horror movie? It's ugly. And then it turns into a real thing. So it turns into an actual alien while you're smoking it. And then it grabs its horns and uses it to strangle you. Boom. Leslie, you should be a story writer. That's a pretty good story. <laughs> <laughs> you're smoking it and the thing wraps around you and then you die and then you're like, oh, and then you're evil. And of course they have the killer clowns from outer space which I've been talking so much about because of course Universal Studios has a maze this year about these guys and I'm excited to actually go through that maze this year. Whoa look at its young version of Jamie Lee Curtis from like this probably from like the first Halloween movie. I recently watched the newer one. The one that came out, I think it was last year? Something about Michael Myers does not seem creepy to me. He's just funny how he just walks slowly to his victims and he goes and kills them. So, probably one of the least scariest uh, killers in these scary movies, personally, I think. the most realistic. Most realistic? Why do you say it's the most realistic? Because it's a uh, madman. So a little fact about this Michael Myers mask is the original mask from Halloween, the first Halloween movie, was actually a Star Trek mask. I think it was William Shatner's mask. And he just painted white over it. A night out on the porch. A night out trying chilling, you know, killing. Is that what you do, right, Michael? Chilling and killing. Looks like a very scary uh, nightmare right there, right, Mr. Freddy Cougar? So we're walking across the bridge. I don't know, I feel like something is creepy about to happen. Whoa! Oh, it's just Jason. Hello, Mr. Leprechaun. Have you seen any Lucky Charms lately? Because I'm kind of hungry. I want some Lucky Charms. Wrong Leprechaun. Wrong Leprechaun. So a little information about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This movie was actually based on true stories. It was based off a guy named Ed Gein from Plainfield, Wisconsin. Now that's just creepy having a horror movie based on a real person. When I watched that one first, it was pretty scary. Was it? Yeah. I don't think I've ever watched Ch Texas Chainsaw. Too. It's scary because in the beginning it says, based on a true story. And then at the end, it shows like the actual pictures. Well, that's it for today, weirdos here at the Tom Devlin's Monster Museum. You know, we had to do it. We have to start off our spooky ventures here and go get some creepiness, right? So I hope you guys liked it. Hit that like button if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button for more adventures. Also, check out the links at the end of my video for more of me, more of my adventures, and where to find me on the social media, guys. Peace out, Halloweenies.